Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 23, a prophecy about Tezor. Howl, you Tarshish ships, because the harbor is destroyed. On returning from Kittim, they discover they cannot enter it. Silence, you who live on the coast, you who have been enriched by the merchants of Zidon, crossing the sea. By the great water, the grain of Shihor, the harvest of the Nile, brought you prophets. She was marketplace for the nations. Shame, Sidon, for the sea speaks, the fortress of the sea says, I no longer have labor pains or bear children, yet I have raised neither boys nor girls. When the report reaches Egypt, they will be in anguish at the fate of Tezor. Cross over to Tarshish, howl you who live on the coast. Is this your boisterous city? whose feet long ago in antiquity carried her off to found distant colonies, who planned this against Tezor, the city that once bestowed crowns, whose merchants are princes, whose traders are honored throughout the earth. Adonai Sevaot planned it to break the pride of all the arrogant, to humiliate all those who are honored everywhere on earth. People of Tarshish, nothing restricts you now. You can flow freely over your land, just like the Nile River. He has stretched out his hand against the sea. He has shaken kingdoms. Adonai has ordered that Canaan's fortresses be destroyed. He has said, Exult no more, oppressed virgin daughter of Sidon. Arise, cross to Kittim. Even there you will find no rest. Look at the land of the Kazdim. This was the people who did not exist when Ashur destined it for desert creatures. They erected their siege towers and tore down her palaces, so that it has been made a ruin. Howl, you Tarshish ships, because your fortress is destroyed. When that day comes, Tezor will be forgotten for seventy years of the lifetime of a king. After seventy years, its fate will be the same as that of a prostitute in this song. Take a lyre, walk the city, you poor forgotten whore. Play sweetly, sing all your songs, so that they will remember you. After seventy years are over, Adonai will remember Tezor. She will receive her wages again and prostitute herself to all the world's kingdoms on the face of the earth. But her merchandise and profits will be dedicated to Adonai. They will not be stored up or hoarded, because her profits will be for those living in Adonai's presence, so that they can eat their fill and wear fine clothing. End of Isaiah chapter 23.